Welcome to my basic mechanical engineering playlist. Today I am going to discuss about polytropic process on PV diagram. Let's see first of all the outline of the session. Isobaric process, then isochoric process, then isothermal process, then adiabatic process and then at last polytropic process on PV diagram. So as you know that these all are the non-flow processes and are considered as a special case of the polytropic process. So let's start first of all the meaning of the polytropic process and then we will draw all these different processes on the PV diagram. So first topic meaning of polytropic process. A polytropic process is any thermodynamic process that can be expressed by the equation PV raised to n is equal to constant. So this is the governing equation for the polytropic process. The exponent n is known as the polytropic index and it may be any value from 0 to infinite depending on the particular process. So very simple for the polytropic process this is the governing equation where n can be from 0 to infinite. Now see the some special cases of the polytropic process. If you put n is equal to 0 in this equation then it will be PV raised to 0 is equal to constant and you know that V raised to 0 is equal to 1 so it will be P is equal to constant that means constant pressure process and that is sometimes known as isobaric process. So isobaric process or the constant pressure process is the special case of polytropic process. Next, if you put n is equal to infinite over here, then it will be PV raised to infinite is equal to constant. And so that you can understand here V is dominated and so that you can say V is equal to constant that means constant volume process. And that is sometimes known as the isochoric process. So once again this is the special case of the polytropic process. Now next, if you put n is equal to 1 in this equation then it will be PV raised to 1 is equal to constant and so that you can say PV is equal to constant. And this process is known as the isothermal process or sometimes it is called as the constant temperature process. Now next, if you put n is equal to gamma that means adiabatic index. So you can say it is PV raised to gamma is equal to constant and this is the governing equation of the isentropic process or you can say adiabatic process where gamma is 1.4 for the air. So these all are the special cases of the polytropic process. Now let's see on the PV diagram. So already we have discussed up to here. Now I can summarize over here the different process. So note down over here the different process first. So isochoric process, isobaric process, isothermal process, isentropic and at last polytropic in general. As you know that generalized gas equation PV by T is equal to constant but here volume is also constant so you can say it is P by T is equal to constant. Now once again as you know that general gas equation PV by T is equal to constant. So if you put pressure is also constant in the same equation so it can be V by T is equal to constant. Now next if you consider the constant temperature process then it will be PV is equal to constant. Now for the adiabatic process as we have discussed PV raised to gamma is equal to constant. And for the polytropic process in general I can say PV raised to N is equal to constant. Now let's draw all these processes on the PV diagram one by one. So it is the pressure versus volume diagram. Let's say it is the initial state. And here I have drawn the horizontal line so you can understand it will be the constant pressure process. And that's why I have written over here pressure is equal to constant and it is sometimes known as isobaric process. And here you can see for the isobaric process n is equal to 0. So I can write over here that polytropic index n is equal to 0 for the isobaric process. Now next, here I have drawn the vertical line and so that you can understand it is the constant volume process. And you know that for the constant volume process 
n is equal to infinite. So I can say here n is equal to infinite. Now if I draw this isothermal process on PV diagram, so here you can see n is equal to 1 and it must be in between 0 to infinite. So here you can see n is equal to 0 and n is equal to infinite. So in between there will be the n is equal to 1. So it will be curve. And n is equal to 1 represent as isothermal process. Now if I want to draw one more process that is in between 1 to infinite, let's say it is n is equal to 1.2. So it is called as the polytropic process. Now once again if I draw one more process, when n is equal to 1.4, then it will be adiabatic process. So keep in mind that if n is equal to 1.4, then it will be the adiabatic index and so that it will be the adiabatic process. Now if I draw one more process in between these two, then it will be polytropic process once again. So polytropic process that is in general. And if you can say the special case n is equal to 0, then it will be isobaric. If it is n is equal to 1, then it will be isothermal. If it is n is equal to 1.4, then it will be adiabatic process. If n is equal to infinite, then it will be isochoric process. Write your valuable feedback in the comment box for motivating me to make more videos. Thanks my dear friends for watching this video.